What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Guys, what's good? Thank you for the support y'all, our subs are growing, we're averaging at least 10 subs a day growth. Thank you so much, bro. If you're watching this video, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 10K MT, 25 likes on the video, someone will win 10K MT, bro. We're getting closer and closer each day. So let's get into this video. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be like a pickup of the week, like what cards are worth selling and buying. So I'm pretty sure this episode is going to be called pick up, uh, Pickups of the Week to Make Maximum MT. So first player we got in this Pickups of the Week in my opinion, is Willis Reed. I actually picked him up myself. And I really think that if you get him for a certain price, you can make a ton of MT off him. Uh, let's see how much he's rocking with. Let's see. He's about... There's not a lot on the auction. 36. Okay. So, you want to try to get him for at least 33k or under. Why do I say he's a good pickup? Because he's simply out of packs. And honestly, you can't really get him any other way besides the packs. If you don't believe me, as you can see, the only packs that are here are these packs over here so yeah you cannot pick up this card you cannot get him other from other than packs so these packs are still in the game but yeah that's really it bro that's those are the packs that's one player i think should be really expensive soon another one my boy julius irving bro there's no other way to get these packs so they're out of the game for a while like unless they drop some spin but anyways we got 50k for julius irving um, he's another good pickup. You want to try to get him for around 46k 46k is the price and then you want to wait because as you can see there is not a lot of auctions. There's not a lot of cards of him um, Let's check out pretty much all the freaking cards bro Like every card in the set is worth a pickup bro. It's pickups of the week for sure Yo, I'm sorry if you hear my brother rage quitting in the background like he's a clown He's getting mopped in 2k and um, he's slamming stuff. So I'm sorry if you hear that just bear with me, man. He's raging really bad right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Yo, well, maybe we'll do like a little collab video. Um, we'll just roll... One of my brother's rage quitting. We'll just go in his room and we'll just show you his rage quit because it's like bad. Like, I rage really hard, but so does he. So, we got Xavier McDad for 72 k You want to try to get him for 65 or under. I saw him for 65 and under yesterday. But yeah, he's not a bad pickup either. Um, right now, it, it doesn't look like they're going to drop content today, which is interesting. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not totally sure. We definitely could see some content on a Tuesday. I would not really doubt that. But yeah, I see that. I could see that happening. But let's check out my boy Rudy Tom Janovic because I said he would go up a little bit. Let's check out if he's worth the pickup. See what he's going for. Uh, let's see. 16k. He's 11, 13, 11, 10, 7. All right, so I got, all right, that's not bad. I got a couple for 9K. It looks like he'll be 11K by the end of today. So honestly, if you get him for 9K, 9,200 or under, he's not a bad pickup. Honestly, th these cards, all these cards, if you could pick them up now, this is probably your best bet to get them. These are the cards I got. I got Reed. I got two Giannis's. Um, oh my God. If Hakeem's cheap, bro, Hakeem is really expensive. I know there's not a lot in the auction. He's sitting at 62K, bro. You, this is a card you need to snipe. I got him for 35k twice last week. He's sitting at 58k. Um, I gotta do the spotlight challenges though. That's the only L's. But we gotta sell him for that price because that price is really high. If you have Hakeem, go ahead, sell him, make your MT now. Because man, you really want to try to pick up that card. It's worth it because he has a lot of value because of the spotlight challenges. So he's really good pickup. He'll sell quick and do it's Hakeem Olajuwon. Who doesn't want Hakeem on their team anyways, bro? If you don't have like Galaxy Opal Day Robinson or Diamond Alonzo Morning, you want that Hakeem. Let's check out Giannis. Um, Giannis at 54, 55, 54. Yeah, dude. I'm going to make so much MT off my Giannis. I don't know why I didn't pick up three, but I got him for 40K and I'm selling him for 54K. What you want to do, bro, honestly... Yo, yo, we're not doing pickups of the weeks, bro. This is aftermath of the market crash. This is aftermath of the market crash, yo. For instance, off the Tom Javich, I only made 1K. Off Akeem, I made 20K off Akeem. After reduction, 17K. Let's just round up Rudy and Akeem. 
to 20k off the reads i'm gonna make 5k clean so 5k 20k 30k off Giannis's. i'm gonna make 10k off each clean we're gonna make over 50 kmt of one two three four five six cards bro let's see what else we got in our collection did we snipe anything else we got another rudy for like 9k so yeah bro and we got this lateral sprule who's almost at diamond or latrell sprule so pretty much bro this has worked out great for me my mt profit is really insane right now like honestly so honest what do i say on uh friday when they when the market crashes um pretty much what we do is you sell your cards and you make a ton of mt like literally like you just you bought you sell your cards right before the market crashes so for instance we got three days left on this so friday new content's coming so what happens when new content comes i tell you guys sell your cards and uh, when, the, when the market crashes, you just get on the game. Literally that whole day, the market has crashed. The next day, starts things start to rise. Like, everyone was telling me they got AD for 18K, Curry for 18K. And now look at them, bro. Everything's so expensive. And when, when the market crashes, it's just a dub. Like, you win every time. Like, I, I got freaking... I could have had four Giannis's for 40K, but I was scared. Why was I scared? I don't know. Because he goes up in price every time. But yeah. Aftermath of the market crash. Pretty much my method of making MT during the market crash is going to Amethyst MBA 20 and simply searching anything under 25k MT. Right now, as you can see, they're really expensive. The other day, with our under 25k, like I got a ton of Kawhis for 24k, which I actually sold already for 30k. Made a little bit of profit off him. I should have waited a little longer, but yeah. Um, as you can see, I have no more Kawhis in my collection. Um, I could have made so much MT, but I sold them. I don't know. I sold them. I didn't even post about it. I didn't even show you my outcomes. But yeah, I sold him. And honestly, it's kind of annoying because I wanted to save for the video. But yeah, we're going to sell my Giannis for 54. We're going to sell everything for... Dude, we're just going to sell everything right now. We're going to make our MT. We're going to make... We're going to make 50k MT off six cards. So if you do that math, that is solid. That means I'm averaging almost 10k a card. About 8k a card. Let's just say 8k a card. Yo, that's crazy. Like, think about that for one second. Just to get on the game. Like, yo, first of all, I got on the game for super short. Like, I got off after work. I was shot. And then I had to go out. So, I literally got home after work. I bought a bunch of cards and just got offline. And that's how I made all my MT. So, like, think about that. Over 50k made in, I would literally say 10 minutes of work. I swear to you. No joke 10 minutes of work. This Willis Reed, all right, 33K. That's going to get sold. I got both my Willis Reeds for 29K and 30K. When he goes to 36K, I make about 4K clean off each. And I can't leave my brother still raging. So I think he's going to go up more though. So right now, I'm just going to make 4K. Honestly, I say he goes up to over 40K. Just because he's such a good um, post-move power forward center. He's a good He's good at dunking. He's got great defense. And I really think this guy's going to be really worth it. So... Yeah, we got Willis Reed, 94 rebounding. This card's got to go up in price, bro. Like, compared to Bob McAdoo, like, it's actually close. And Bob McAdoo's, like, he's way, he's free, but his stats are very similar. And people who don't have Bob McAdoo are going to pick up his Willis Reed. So, yeah, dude, the, this card stacked. I really do think he's going to go up. So, right now, we're about to make 50K. We got the Hakeem, the Giannis's. Three. We're gonna have over 400k, about 50, 50, 50. Yeah, 100k there, 150k there, 300k plus these two, 360. We're gonna have like about 400k after I sell a little other things, some marberries and stuff. So yeah, 400k MT. Um, we had a lot more. We low key did pop packs, but yeah. Other than that, man, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys understand what I'm saying, it's very easy. If you don't know what the market crash is, you don't know what a market crash is, you don't know when the market crash is, go check out all my videos. I have like 50 videos on the market crash for you to make MT off the market crash. It's, it's literally no effort. You pretty much just watch what I do and you just duplicate what I do and you just follow exactly what I do, who I'm going after, who I'm trying to snipe. It's pretty much usually the Amethyst 20s and people in like the old packs or the new packs or whatever. But pretty much in every market crash video, I go over what's going to go on and what's going to happen. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Be sure to hit that like for 10K MT. Drop the sub, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's it, man. Be good. Peace.